In 1828, Joseph Smith claimed to have a set of golden plates, and 11 witnesses were later allowed to view those plates. Generally, the witnesses agree on the size and weight of the plates, but one of them gives a very different description. Lucy Mack Smith, Joseph's mother, says that they were 6 inches by 8 inches, and Martin Harris gives a similar number of 7 inches by 8 inches. Martin Harris also says that they were 4 inches thick. Joseph Smith himself said that the book was 6 inches thick, and that 2 of those inches contained the Book of Mormon and the rest were the sealed portion. David Whitmer, quoting his mother, said that they were bound by three D-shaped rings, and Martin Harris described those rings as being silver. David Whitmer says that the pages were as thick as parchment, and Joseph said that they were thick as common tin. Joseph Smith and Martin Harris said that the plates weighed between 40 and 60 pounds, and William Smith, Joseph's brother, said that they weighed about 60 pounds. So this is generally what people think of when they think of what the plates look like. However, Joseph Smith Sr., Joseph's dad, gives a very different description. In the historical magazine, a man named Fayette Latham published an interview that he had with Joseph Smith Sr. 40 years earlier, and this is his description of the plates. They were about 6 inches wide and 9 or 10 inches long. The entire book was half an inch thick, and the plates were held together by several gold rings. He said that he weighed the plates himself and that they weighed only 30 pounds. Joseph Sr. gives no description of the sealed portion. He goes on to say that under the first plate, or lid, he found a pair of spectacles. On the next page, he says, were representations of all of Masonic implements, as used by the Masons at the present day. The remaining pages were closely written over in characters of some unknown tongue, the last containing the alphabet of this unknown tongue. So, why is his description so different from the other witnesses? And why is he leaving out parts and describing things that no one else describes? Also, this wouldn't be the first time Joseph Smith Sr. bragged about something being longer than it probably was.